Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to the Q4 and FY24 earnings conference call of Electro Steel Castings Limited. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen only mode. There will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during this conference, please signal an operator by pressing star and then zero on your touchstone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Vikash Verma from EY LLP. Thank you and over to you, sir. Thank you, Darwin. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of Electricity Castings Limited, I welcome you all to the company's quarter four and FY24 earnings conference call. To discuss the performance of the company and to answer the questions, we have with us for the company Mr. Umang Kejriwal, Managing Director, Mr. Uddhav Kejriwal, Whole Time Director, Mr. Asutur Salarwal, Whole Time Director and Chief Financial Officer, and Mr. Gaurav Samani, General Manager, Finance. Before we proceed with this call, I would like to draw your attention to the fact that today's discussion may contain forward-looking statements that are subject to various risks, uncertainties, and other factors which will be beyond management control. We kindly request that you bear in mind there may be uncertainties when interpreting such statements. Please note that this conference is being recorded. We will now start the session with opening remarks from the management team. Afterwards, we will open the floor for an interactive Q&A session. I will now hand over the conference over to Mr. Umang Kejriwal for his opening remarks. Thank you and over to you, sir. Hello, everybody. So another year goes by and uh, I don't really remember when we have been so optimistic as we are now about the future. We always thought that uh, water is the business of the future and uh, we are in the right place at the right time, but uh, so many, but for so many years, we were definitely at the right place. But uh, whether we were at the right place at the right time, we didn't really know. But uh, today we can confidently say yes, we are at the right time at the right place. And uh, and yes, things look all right for the future. As far as uh, figures, etc. are concerned, I think uh, they are already in the public domain. And to elaborate a little more uh, about them, I will now hand you over to Asutosh. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, everybody, and very, very warm welcome in this session. I would like to first explain you about quarter four results. The results will be in two parts, consolidated results and standard on results. Consolidated results, electricity casting, total income grew by 6.8% year on year to rupees 2,039 crores. EBITDA surged by 51% approximately year on year to rupees 346 crores. Quarter 4 includes Major renovation and repair works in our Kharda plant in West Bengal, approximately 60 crores. And the plant was also shut down for 53 days approximately during this financial year. But what is the benefit of this shutdown and maintenance? 
the efficiency of the plant subsequently will improve and the company will get better result out of this plant. EBITDA margin expanded by 495 bips year on year to 17%. PAT grew by 154% to Rs. 227 crores. PAT margin expanded by 645 bips year on year to 11.1% during this quarter. Now I am talking about standalone results. Company sold 1,96,000 tons of BI pipe during this quarter. Company's total income was Rs. 1,812 crores. EBITDA grew, to, grew by 36.7% year on year to 319 crores. As informed earlier, Q4 results includes major innovation and repair work and the company has incurred around 60 crores which has been <coughs> incurred in this quarter. And the plant was also shut down for 53 days. 53 days during the financial year. But the benefit of this will be come in subsequent years due to increase in the productivity and efficiency of the plant. The Vita margin expanded by 553 bits year on year to 17.6 percent. Fat grew by 116 percent year on year to 219 crores. Fat margin expanded by 640 bits year on year to 12.1 percent during this quarter. Now I am talking about yearly results. First of all, consolidated performance of the company. Company total income stood to Rs. 7,580 crores in the financial year 23-24. EBITDA surged by 56% to Rs. 1,281 crores with EBITDA margin of 17%. PAD grew by 134% to Rs. 740 crores and fat margin of 9.8 percent. EPS for 2024 was 12.30. Now I am talking about the standard performance for the year. Company sold 7.47 million metric ton of DI5 during this year. Company total income was Rs. 7,044 crores during this year. EBITDA surged to 120 percent to Rs. 1,246 crores with EBITDA margin of 17.7 percent. PAD grew to 120 percent to 736 crores with PAD margin of 10.4 percent. Now I'm talking, talking about capex of the existing plant. Company has spent 319 crores out of 650 crores capex plan as on March, 30, March 24. The ongoing capex plan is as per the schedule and the, the new capacity will be up and running by September, October 2025. Taking this account, the total capacity of the company would be somewhere around 9 lakh tons per annum. Thus, we will be maintaining the leadership position in the country in DI5 and fittings. As on 31st March 2024, at standalone level, the gross debt of the company has down to Rs. 2010 crores and the net debt stands to 1,523 crores. Company net debt to equity ratio stands to 0 0.31 is to 1 as on 31st March 2024. The consulted level gross debt of the company down to rupees 2,266 crores against 1,722 crores. 
the company's net debt to equity ratio is 0.34 is to 1 as on 31st March 2024. Now I am requesting for the question answer session by the investors. Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. Uh, can we just add one thing? Please go ahead, sir. Uh, let me introduce uh, add two things. The board today the board has approved increase of Kala Hasti unit capacity by one lakh ton of DI pipe, and the capex would be somewhere around sixty four crores. And this this capacity will be up and running within fifteen months time. That is give, that will give a very very boost to the company, and the total capacity of the company would be somewhere around. 10 lakh, 1 million. Second announcement we made, we made today with the approval of the board that the company is going to acquire shortly around 500 acres of land in the state of Odisha. And the state of Odisha is, government of state of Odisha is supporting us like anything. And we are planning to set up a DI5 and fitting plant there. So our objective is first to acquire the land our team is working for that, and we will come back to you later on with the full details of the project. Please carry on. Certainly. Thank you. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on their touchstone telephone. If you wish to withdraw yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to please use handsets while asking a question. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. The first question is from the line of Vikas Singh from Philip Capital. Please go ahead. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Sir, I just want to understand if I just look, uh, compare the four queues, standalone versus uh, consolidated numbers seems to be that the subsidiaries' performance on a sequential basis uh, have declined considerably along with the higher other expenses. So if you could just uh, give us some explanation what has happened there and uh, is that a one-off event and next quarter they will bounce back? Hi, Vikash. This is Gaurav. Uh, Vikash, uh, in case of uh, consolidated numbers, we did a effect of around 346 crores compared to standalone EBITDA number of around 319 crores. So there has been uptick in the consolidated EBITDA number. On a sequential basis, basically, we have a On a sequential basis, yes, because what happens uh, when we sell to subsidiaries, there is also adjustment of unrealized profit on the stocks, which is uh, lying there. So those get adjusted as per the accounting norms. Because I understand. Yes, whatever unsold stock is lying in the subsidiary companies and the profit margin we have to adjust here in the consolidated accounts as per India. Understood, sir. So secondly, in terms of our capex, uh, basically to nine lakh ton capacity, uh, by what time frame this capacity would come and what kind of volume we should build in in our FY25 estimates, or everything will come in FY26. Uh, hi, good afternoon. So this is 24-25 going on and we expect to conclude 24-25 with 8,50,000 tons. I think 25-26 is when we will see 9 lakh tons, uh, definitely. And 26-27, we will be at 1 mu. Understood. And we... Our blended EBITDA for this year was closer to 17,000. So is this the run rate we would be comfortable with or the uh, sustainable run rate is lower than this? So if you could give us some insight into that. Uh, as the community is also, but we, will, we are slightly confident about 17%, but we will change for the better percentage. We are Understood. sustaining 16 to 17 percent, but definitely we are not going to our efforts to do better than that. 
after proper due diligence of the market and the forecast of the market domestically as well as, as, well as international demand. All right. Sir, so uh, I just want to also understand one thing. Right now, the company is uh, going through uh, uh, missions like Jal Jeevan Mission and infrastructure projects uh, in, in the water uh, domain, which uh, probably might continue for the next, uh, say, three to four years. So, I mean, post uh, the completion of such projects, uh, I mean, uh, what, what, what would drive demand for our products? I mean, what is the outlook on this? The demand, you can see, your GDP is going to go for 2-3 years, where are you going to go? After that, the growth of the company is going to go to 7% of the growth. And the growth of the company is going to be better. So, going forward, for quite some time to come, this issue seems to be uh, quite all right. And uh, there are so many other types of pipes. Once uh, people are able to get enough uh, ductile pipe in the market, then these other types of pipes will start uh, converting back to ductile. That will also help. All right, sir. Got it. And sir, my last question is, uh, what kind of uh, growth are we looking at in FY25 in terms of volumes? And are we uh, confident of maintaining the better margins that we uh, arrived at in Q4? So, yeah, as mentioned uh, just a while back, I think we expect to close 24-25 with a uh, output of 8,50,000 tons of pipe. So, production and sale being around those numbers. And yes, we are confident of maintaining a bit in the range of 17 to 18%, the way things are right now and right. the way things are looking going forward for the year. All right, Sam, what was the volume in uh, FY24? So we close 23-24 with 7,50,000 tons. All right, so great. That's all for my side. Thank you very much. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much for the good wishes. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Aryan Sharma from BNK Securities. Please go ahead. Um, hello, sir. Good afternoon. I have questions regarding the export situation. Sorry to interrupt, but the line for you sounds a little muffled. We request you to please use the handset while you're speaking. Oh, am I audible now? It's uh, much better, sir. Please go ahead. Yes, uh, so good afternoon. I had questions regarding the export situation, actually. We see that exports as a percent of total volumes has fallen from 17% to 15% in FI24. Uh, so could you elucidate the reasons for same uh, as to why it has fallen uh, and what is the mix that we can expect in the future? And which re uh, region can we see uh, demand from in the future? Well, at present, uh, you have the international demand and you have the domestic demand, and uh, you really have to plan as you go along which, uh, which demand to meet uh, first. So... Uh, Looking at 17% or 15% or 19% probably is not the way to look at it quarter to quarter or half year to half year. Uh, people plan and uh, decide uh, where to uh, sell and uh, supply as we go along. Okay, sir. Thank you for clarifying. So, uh, my second question is regarding the CAPEX plans. So, actually, uh, I just wanted you, uh, could you just uh, elaborate as to what, is, what are the our CAPEX plans for FI25 and 26? What will be the total amount we'll in, be incurring for CAPEX? And uh, including the Odisha uh, land and how much la uh, capacity addition we are we expecting in Odisha to be built? 
as i told you the kudisa capex plan will be in phases we will be increase the capacity gradually and we are still on the drawing board stage on urissa project so debt equity will be able to be clear maybe by a month or two but other than that we are comfortable that the debt will be reduced as per the plan as per the commitment with the banks and fy25 capex is around 220 to 225 for the maximum apart from us okay so thank you for your time no more questions thank you the next question is from the line of rakesh roy from boring amc please go ahead yeah hi sir so just a, just one i said i maybe i forget for so in which case we are going to add 1 lakh capacity sir addition kalas unit the south unit the unit situated in south near tirupati uh, oh, so already we uh, in sri kalas we have already nearby 5 lakh 50000 correct Yeah. So again, we will add one lakh. So after this one lakh, it becomes six point five lakhs. Correct. Yes, sir. My next question is, sir. Last time when when we meet, you say that currently demand is high and supply. There is a difference between demand and supply. So supply is lower and demand is higher. Uh, after two years, demand and the supply will equilibrium. In that case, how we maintain how we maintain our growth in uh, after two after two or uh, three years? Why? Hey. ये ये फोरकास्ट आपका कोई इसका बैकअप हो तो शेयर करिए हमारा जो फोरकास्ट है उसके हिसाब से तो ये दो साल में तो बराबर नहीं होने वाला है अभी तो मैं कॉल कर आफ्टर टू थ्री इयर्स क्योंकि डिमांड सप्लाई में जो गैप है वो तो फिलअप हो जाएगा बिकॉज मेनी कंपनी आज कमिंग विथ डी आई पाइप लैके साम मेटेलिक्स इज देयर मेनी कंपनी इज देयर तो ये टू थ्री इयर्स में जो गैप हो जाएगा ये फुलफिल हो जाएगा तो आफ्टर टू थ्री इयर्स हाउ वी वी ग्रो अवर इज स्ट्रेटेजी टू ना मेंटेन आवर मार्केट शेयर और एनीथिंग सर कोई कमेंट सर आपका सर हम लोग का ये सोचना है कि दो तीन साल में ये डिमांड नहीं मेकअप होगा और डिमांड अभी है मार्केट में और रहेगा और इसीलिए कैपेसिटी बढ़ाने की बात हो रही है ओके एग्री सर एग्री सर वन वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन सर एनी प्लान टू एड न्यू प्रोडक्ट इन यू आवर पोर्टफोलियो अपार्ट फ्रॉम डी आई पाइप इन नियर फ्यूचर आफ्टर टू थ्री इयर्स या आफ्टर वन ईयर एनी एनी प्लान फ्रॉम योर साइड सर बात तो होती रहती है लेकिन जब तक कुछ फॉर्म अप नहीं हो तो आपके सामने क्या कहा जाए ओके okay. जैसे देखिए ये इन प्रीवियस क्वार्टर वो रबर के बारे में वी हैड समथिंग फॉर्म डब सो वी केम टू यू विथ द इन्फॉर्मेशन नाउ वी आर फॉर्म डब विथ दी श्री काला हस्ती फर्दर एक्सपेंशन एंड उड़ीसा प्रोजेक्ट सो वी हैव कम एंड शेयर दैट विथ यू सो वी नीड थिंग्स टू गेट अ लिटल एडवांस बिफोर वी शेयर विथ यू ओके सर ये सर चिन्नी प्लांट का वी रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज रीजॉइन द क्यू फॉर फॉलो अप क्वेश्चन ओके राइट थैंक यू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम द लाइन ऑफ कुबेर चौहान फ्रॉम आनंद राठी प्लीज गो हेड या थैंक यू फॉर टेकिंग माई क्वेश्चन एंड कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन ऑन गुड सेट ऑफ नंबर टू क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेन कैन वी सी वन मिलियन टर्म्स ऑफ कैपेसिटी इन आर प्लान टोटल कैपेसिटी बाई विच वी आर विटनेसिंग एंड सेकेंड वॉट इज द करेंट ऑर्डर बुक इन आर हैंड्स so we will see 1 million tons capacity by 26 27 financial year definitely number 1 and on your second question i think i like most of the times even currently we see an order book of 6 to 7 months in relax so uh, in units maybe you can specify 3 lakh tons 3 lakh ah 6 lakh tons let's say so about more than 6 7 months actually 9 to 10 and in, months and in uh, in terms of value 
Sorry, I didn't get catch the last part. Can you please repeat? Yeah, I was asking. You said about units, six lakh tons, uh, and in terms of value, how much it would be? Around four thousand five hundred crores, approximately. ऑपरचुनिटी अभी तो वी हैव लॉट ऑफ टाइप्स ऑफ पाइप्स इन द मार्केट वी हैव डक्टाइल वी हैव स्टील वी हैव सम डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ प्लास्टिक्स एंड देन वन ऑफ टू मोर डिफरेंट टाइप्स एंड वी फील एज एंड वेन we are ready to meet the demand of uh, ductile pipes in the market and go further then uh, we can again begin to or uh, again continue to take some market share of different types of pipes till then we have to first uh, take care of the ductile uh, market demand itself so sir uh, you believe that uh, this opvc pipe which i am talking about would not take a significant share from the di pipe uh, like it it will not be a competition to di pipes right no what i am trying to convey is that uh, because we are hard pressed to meet the di demand at present so we are uh, not able to take away share from uh, uh, other types of pipes correct sir correct sir and sir uh, would it be possible to give any uh, volume or any capacity guidance for the odisha plant uh, which is coming up uh, like we are uh, taking 500 acres of land so approximate num- amount of uh, volume which we can set up over there in in such a area or something like that we are uh, we have not worked that out uh, in full detail so as asutosh mentioned uh, we are not uh, ready with uh, that information there is no point in uh, sharing a figure with you today and changing it tomorrow correct correct sir uh, and sir uh, uh, just a last question uh, in fy25 uh, we would be at a capacity of around uh, 9 lakh tons right oh. yeah fy20 25 yes 9 lakh tons correct 25 correct lakh. and uh, you you guided for volumes of around 8.5 lakh tons however in the ppt it is mentioned the volumes of around 8.95 lakh tons so uh, which should be considered 8.95 is the total capacity okay okay capacity of around 9 lakh tons okay correct by the end of the calendar year so the benefit yeah. will be for the part of the year so it is translate into 9 lakh tons only on an annual basis for 25 26 basically okay Okay. Thanks a lot, sir. Uh, all the best for the future. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. The next question comes from the line of Kirtan Mehta from BOB Capital Markets. Please go ahead. Thank you, sir, for the opportunity. <coughs> In regards to Odisha plant, I do understand that we have not done the work. But is it possible to share what the sort of the typical size of the greenfield plant that one is considering? but we can give a range in terms of what is the range of this plant that will make itself sort of a economically feasible and what is the typical capex involved in putting up this kind of plant normative basis in terms of per lakh ton or something like that thoda wait kar lijiye na please har quarter to aap se vartalap hota hi hai sure uske pehle finalize ho jayega to hum log right special meeting तो हम लोग इन्फॉर्म करके तो करेंगे क्योंकि जो बोर्ड में नहीं दिया है उसके तो आपसे पहले डिस्कस करने में भी तो दिक्कत है ना राइट सर श्योर आई थिंक दैट ओनली क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम माई सर थैंक यू 
The next question is from the line of Saloni Hanmani from Molecule Venture PMS. Please go ahead. Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, I have two evening. questions. Uh, so, if the first question is regarding the existing capacity. Uh, as we have mentioned in the PPT, it's around 7.4. But if I add uh, the, uh, the existing capacity mentioned by you in your results, the Shri Kala FT plant is 5.5. Plus, if I do 3, so that comes around 8.5. So, what's the correct figure in the existing capacity? Saloni, 5.5 at Kala Hasti will become after the uh, uh, expansion gets completed. That is by around Q3 of this financial year. Right now... Okay, so it's not uh, it's not there yet, right? Uh, the CapEx is going on. CapEx is going on in an advanced stage of completion also. So just with okay, okay. quarters, it will be 5.5. So we are sticking with our original timeline of quarter 2 of FY25 when we will have this capacity? We are ahead of the schedule. That's great, sir. Uh, the follow-up question is regarding Parbatpur coal block, sir. Any, any update on that? Uh, very difficult to answer this question. Go Delhi High Court, I have a hearing. You want to... Say that or not say that. The yeah. hearing is going on, keep on going on. The next hearing is scheduled on 25th. But I think uh, one person in the world can answer is Mr. Modi. <laughs> okay, okay. But uh, uh, any rough figure that we might be internally estimating that uh, we might be able to receive, like the land component or the overall expenditure that we have done? Whatever, whatever projections we have made, about this in the past, have uh, proved uh, wrong. So all we can say is that uh, the matter is moving forward. It's not at a standstill. And uh, we will definitely see recovery. All right, sir. That's it from my side. Thank you and all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Jojo Shaju from Alpha Invesco Research Services. Please go ahead. Yeah. Uh, thanks for this opportunity, sir. So I have uh, three questions. So first, coming to the our export market, uh, I just want to understand uh, how much volumes are going into the USA, America, and what sort of volume growth we are witnessing there year over year. In the U.S. market, they want to know what is the growth plan uh, for so the U.S. market. Out of our total exports, U.S. contributes to around 10%. Okay, 10 percentage of the total exports is going to the U.S. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, can you uh, give how much is the absolute volume growth there in the U.S. market? Uh, what is the demand outlook there? Are you witnessing any growth in specifically to the U.S. market? See, in the present situation in U.S., we are not hoping in hoping a great increase in the U.S. market. Okay, not uh, much growth is witnessing from the U.S. market. Yeah. And so, uh, what is the uh, uh, realization from the U.S. market? Or uh, is there any improvement there? What I sort of? Uh, very uh, right. difficult to, to quantify this details. Right. You know, there are competitors also in this call. So I think we will not be able to give a specific quantification of the U.S. market realization in this manner. I mean... Sure, sir. No, sir. Uh, what would be the domestic realization, if I can... Please, have a look. Yeah. Okay. And what would be the domestic realization for the attempts now? I think we are happy to talk about an average realization on an overall basis. But I don't... I think... We, it would be not appropriate to get into micro details of domestic separately and export separately. 70, so on an average basis, if you look at this year gone by, about approximately 74 to 75,000 is our average realization for this year's business that has been concluded. Beyond that, I don't think it would be appropriate for us to detail out on the call. Sure, sir. And so my second question is uh, regarding the 500 acres of land you are purchasing in Medita. 
uh, I know you don't have the uh, enough details uh, on the plan wise details, but uh, why do you choose uh, Odisha as the location? Are we getting any specific advantage uh, over there? Can you come again, please? Why Odisha? Why Odisha? <coughs> Is your question why Odisha? Yes. Yeah. The is 167 kilometers away. The major raw materials are uh, within a few hundred kilometers. And uh, it gives us a lot of confidence to go and work in Odisha with the way we see its uh, development in the last many years. So uh, there are many reasons. Uh, these are some of the reasons which uh, were at the forefront. And so for this capacity which is coming there in Odisha, uh, are you targeting for the export market or uh, is it for the domestic market specifically? Uh, any uh, plans on that? is such that uh, the domestic as well as export markets will be accessible from this location. Okay, so you will be targeting uh, both the uh, geographical sector. Uh, thank you, sir. And uh, my last question is regarding the uh, cooking oil purchase. I just want to know the strategy behind it. Like, uh, what percentage uh, are we hedging? What sort of inventory levels we are keeping uh, for the cooking oil? Can you give some understanding over this? So, if I understood correctly, first of all, you have asked about inventory levels. And second is about buying oblique booking strategy, right? Is that yes, the two yes. parts of the question? Yes. Yes. So as far as inventory levels are concerned, we ideally have to be in a zone of three to four month inventory because this is entirely import based and most of our coals are imported from Australia. So that is where the inventory levels are supposed to be, number one. On the second part of the question, uh, so basically we keeping in mind that the plant needs certain coals at certain time periods based on inventory levels we try not to cut it too close keeping in mind the shipping schedules and we definitely look for the right windows to conclude our businesses for the coal buying keeping in mind that the coal market has been seeing a good amount of fluctuation in terms of prices in the last couple of months uh, we would like to believe that our calls have kind of gone right for us in the last few times. And as a result, we are in a decent space as far as our costs are concerned because coal is the kind of the largest contributor in the raw material cost. Okay, sir. But uh, by and large, uh, you will be having three to four months of uh, inventory over there, right? Yes. Understood, sir. Thank you. Uh, and all the best, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much for the best wishes. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Miraj Shah from Aryan Capital. Please go ahead. Thank you for the opportunity and uh, congratulations on good side of the rest. I have just um, First is that the 500 acres that you have decided to purchase in Odisha, uh, what Sir, there is so much echo, we are not being able to grasp the question. Can you uh, come again minus the echo? Is it better now? Is it better now, sir? So many people are talking together. Multiple comments. Multiple voices are coming. I'll, I'll just get back in the queue. I'll just uh, get back in the queue. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Pramod Jain from Interglobe Finance. Please go ahead. Yeah, uh, I wanted to understand the EBITDA per ton uh, for this quarter and what is the uh, estimate that we can take for EBITDA margins for the next year? 
So EBITDA per ton is in the range of between 15 to 16 thousand rupees per ton. And I think we, as we have already indicated, we expect to maintain the similar range going forward. That is the where the entire focus lies as of now. And any specific reason why on quarter on quarter basis the EBITDA is down apart from the OPEX cost of 50 crore? So if you compare, you I am sure you are referring to Q3 of this year versus Q4 of this year? Yes, yes, yeah. quarter on quarter. So I think two broad reasons if we have to put across, first of all, uh, there is the majority part of the Kharda shutdown related expenditure that has got debited in Q4 to the tune of approximately 60 to 62 crores. And the second reason would be that if we look at the coal and iron ore, which are the two major raw materials for us, in Q4 we have seen about 8 to 10 percent increase in the cost of the raw materials booked to production. So these are the two factors which sum up the answer to your question. Okay. Just to add what Mr. Udo Kejriwal explained to you, I mentioned yeah. the result also and the outcome also. The company has incurred around 60 crore rupees for repairs and maintenance of its Calcutta-based Khada unit plant. And the plant was shut down for 53 days during this financial year. And in this quarter, the plant was shut down for 15 days. This is the main region of reduction of EBITDA during this quarter. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Miraj Shah from Aryan Capital. Please go ahead. Oh, wait, uh, this is better now, sir. Yeah. Yeah, so just three clarifications. Uh, firstly, regarding the uh, 500 acres uh, land that we are going to procure in uh, Orissa, uh, you mentioned that uh, it will be through internal approvals only. So how much roughly are we going to spend for acquiring this land? The final negotiation is still going on with, on, on with the vendors. Uh, I think within a span of 15 days, we will be able to click the deal. Okay, the final amount will come to know uh, in 15 days. But sir, a rough estimate, would you be able to provide? Uh, not advisable, as there was a restriction from the vendor. Okay, understood. So second is that on the consolidated numbers, uh, I think you clarified about this uh, in one of the questions, but I, uh, I wasn't uh, able to understand this. Uh, this one uh, tax item uh, pertaining to earlier years, can you just explain what is that regarding the 36 and a half crores? That's 34 something crores. Yeah. Uh, there was a reversal of tax provision of earlier years. There was a provision we were carrying on after the High Court order, there was no need of tax provision and we have to reverse it. Understood. Okay. This is based according to the High Court order. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and sir, lastly, uh, on the Jaljeon mission side, uh, government, when they came out with this mission, they had set out to an amount, roughly 3.6 lakh crores, that they wanted to spend. Uh, till uh, date, uh, how much has been completely spent in that? So, just to understand how much more... Uh, is going to be allocated in the budget? About 3.1 lakh crores. 3.1 lakh is done. So, in, in the current budget, we uh, can, we cannot expect more than 50,000 crores or uh, would that amount also be revisable? No, we are expecting more than 50,000 crores in the current budget. And okay. uh, we also expect this uh, mission to move further from here. Understood. Okay. Okay, so you are anticipating more than 50,000. This uh, figure to be uh, extended. Okay. Yeah, that's it from my side. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Subhash from Value Investment. Please go ahead. 
Uh, sorry to interrupt, sir, but uh, you're not audible. Subhash, the line for you, the volume is very low. Is, uh, is it audible now? Yes, this is much better. Please go ahead, sir. Sorry, okay. So in Q2 earnings call, you mentioned that you would be net long-term debt-free by FI25 end. So is this plan still intact considering the expansions yes, yes. in Kalahasti and the land acquisitions in Odisha? As I explained to the earlier callers, this money is lying with the company for acquisition of land and expansion of Kala Asti. Okay. So there will not be increase in the debt for this two, two uh, an expansion. Okay, but so you would be long term debt free by FI25 and then? Come again? He's saying that you will be long term so, debt free by 25 year end. Ah, long term debt free for uh, in the year of 25 end, but for doing the. Uh, Odisha unit, we have to borrow something, but that will be decided later, not now. Okay, sure. Okay. And also, you mentioned that uh, the order book visibility is uh, for up to six months, few minutes ago, but in the presentation, I see it is, the visibility is up until 10 months. So, which is the correct date? Yeah, yeah it is around 9 to 10 months. 9 to 10 months, okay. So, and the value would be around 5,000 to 6,000 crore? 4,500 to 5,000 crore. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I mean, just to get an anyway, I don't want to poke too much into the final decker line since you got too many questions. I'm sorry about this. Uh, so, uh, can you give me an example? Let's say that in Kalahasti, you ha you said you have 5.5 um, lakh ton per annum capacity, right? So, what is the, la uh, you know, how many acres of land do you have in Kalahasti uh, in the existing plant? 350 acres of land approximately is the total land available to us. Okay. And that's completely utilized in Kalahasti, 350 acre no, land? No, 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 no. There is some further scope. Okay, fine. Yeah, I think that helps. Thank you so much. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Saket Kapoor from Kapoor Company. Please go ahead. Yeah. Namaskar, uh, Umang Babu, Aapka Dhaneva sir, Aaj Investor Se Vartha Lab Karne Ke Lea Aapne Samay Nhi Kala. Sir, Samay Samay Hai, Samay Ki Kya Kami Hai? Ji sir, Dhaneva sir, Aapka. Aapka Dhaneva sir, Aapka Dhaneva sir, Aapka Dhaneva sir, Aapne Samay Nhi Kala. Dhaneva, thank you. Sir, firstly sir, Abhi Aamari Kharda Ki Name Plate Capacity Aur Kala Asti Ki Capacity Kya Hai, As on 31st March 24. Kharda capacity and Kalahasti capacity put together will be at the level we mentioned just now that we will be at 5.5 uh, 5.5 no, no, plus 1 will come in 25-26 so 24-25 will be end at 5.5 uh, for Kalahasti sir, sir I am asking as on 31st March 2024 what is the Kharda capacity and Kala capacity? Around 7.75 tons. 7.75. Okay. And, and, and we are guiding for 8.5 lakh tonnage for FY24-25. Yeah. Okay. okay. And this is post this uh, shutdown uh, or the repair work which we have done uh, for which we have incurred a cost of 60 crore. This is all, this will ramp up our capacity, the deep water leaking exercise by 75,000 uh, tons. Yes. And one. Okay. Right, sir. Agar hum, sir, if we do 60 crore ko net off bhi karte hai, other expenses, se, then also there is an increase of 40 crore on a Q on Q basis on the other expenses. What explains uh, that, sir? 30 crores nahi hai, 30, 30, 30 something crores hai. ठीक है साहब 30 का ही बताइए तो व्हाट इज दैट तो बताया तो वो बताया ना कि हमारे रॉ मटेरियल कॉस्ट में भी थोड़ा बहुत इंक्रीज है अभी अप्रोक्सिमेटली 10% का तो उसके कारण अच्छा सर आई एम आस्किंग अबाउट अदर एक्सपेंसेस इफ यू टेक द कंट्रोल नंबर Q1 Q द नंबर चेंज एट 586 करो ऑफ प्रीसाइजली 587 करो वीजा विद 486 करो सो इफ आई नेट ऑफ द 60 करोड आल्सो then we are also left with 38, 39 crore increase, whereas the tonnage has remained same. So what explains this uh, Q on Q increase of uh, to the tune of 38 to 40 crore? 
Mr. Kapoor, I was expecting this question from you. Please, thank you. Generally, do the detail in analysis. Actually, there was a fuel surcharge imposed by government, and in Kala Asti, in quarter four, we have provided 14 crore rupees as fuel surcharge. These we have to pay. We may not may may not to be pay also, but for the better. Understanding and better results and accurate results to the shareholders, we have made a provision of 14 crores in Kala in Q4 only. Then similarly, in Kala in Khada also, we kept on providing this and in some portion also provided in quarter four. This is just a provision, that's why you are seeing another expense. आशुतोष जी ये कंटिन्यू रहेगा क्योंकि ये प्रोविजन है जब तो फिर नेक्स्ट क्वार्टर में भी ये इंप्लीमेंटेड रहे इंप्लीमेंट रहेगा। We are hopeful that in next financial year it will be settled down by the government and by the court and either it will be reversed or we have to pay। और सर एक आपने कैश फ्लो में लॉस ऑन एसेट फिक्स एसेट का दिखाया है 26 करोड़ रुपए का। Which assets are you attributing to this loss of 26 crore? Uh, we have to uh, buy pipe molds which are used for manufacturing of the pipes. And every year it gets discarded. So, to discard, it is not that we have sold any fixed assets. It is some of the fixed assets which get discarded at the time of the production of the pipes. It's the life of the Mojapi. Yes, sir. A closing point, sir, Umangji, you have to call me and coffee. काफी विस्तृत चर्चा हुई है और उड़ीसा के प्रोजेक्ट पे भी काफी बार क्वेश्चन आए हैं जब अनुकूल रहेगा समय आप हमें बताएंगे बट सर जैसा हम आगे भी देख रहे हैं कि एग्जिस्टिंग प्लेयर एग्जिस्टिंग मार्केट की जो सेंटीमेंट है उसमें फंड रेजिंग एक्सरसाइज को भी महत्व दे रहे हैं तो अगर आप जब आप जब आपके पास बोर्ड का ये विकल्प आप लेकर जाए फंड रेजिंग इसके कैपेक्स के लिए तो क्यू के ऑप्शन को भी आप मद्देनजर रख सकते हैं क्या सर क्यों क्योंकि अभी इक्विटी मार्केट में जो बॉइंसी है और जैसा आप जो ग्रोथ की कंटिन्यूटी की बात आपने हमें विस्तृत रूप से समझाई है पिछले 50 मिनट में तो उस उस एस्पेक्ट पे क्या क्यूआईपी के का मैंडेट भी आपके पास है ऑलरेडी कि आपको फिर हम चेरोल्डर्स के पास आना पड़ेगा जी सर, 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 that's all from my side, sir. हाँ सर। ये तो। जी सर, आप कुछ बोल रहे हैं। Play a role, so yes, it it is always good that the promoters participate and we have requested and our request has been adhered and now it has been effective. So I congratulate the promoters also to taking keen interest in addressing your request, sir. Thank you once again and all the best to you. Thank you, Satyar Ji. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Radha from B&K Securities. Please go ahead. Hi, sir. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, so my first question was that uh, you mentioned that next two years that will be repaired according to the schedule. So could you quantify the schedule that is there for the next two years? Next two years, we have to pay 330 crores. So, sir, uh, you are expected to generate about, uh, uh, if we take conservatively, 1,500 crores back. So, from there, we'll be paying only 300 crores. 16, so, uh, Yes, sir. Uh, what would be the remaining uh, profit be used for? 
that will be used for capex what we have said you all right sir uh, secondly uh, in the balance sheet the consol balance sheet so there is an item called uh, other financial liabilities in the non current liabilities for 250 crores so uh, uh, could you tell me what is this regarding uh there was a arbitration case with railway railway by the company by the company and the arbitration was awarded in our favor in favor of your company then railway went to high court okay and high high court single bench also given the reward in our favor and instructed railway to deposit 252 crores with the company against the bank guarantee so what we did we have deposited 252 crores with the bank and taken a bank guarantee against that and submitted to the high court calcutta high court this is the answer of this question all right so, so we are we are still expecting a favorable outcome come again please are we expecting so we are expecting yep we are always expecting for the favorable answer the Cal calcutta high court single bench has given the decision in our favor now the railway has gone for the to the divisional bench and we are waiting for the hearing to be happened okay sir so i have a question to ask to unlike peers we have lots of opportunities for the market there are lots of opportunities the voice is not clear sir is that the question can you hear me hear me hello not at all not at all not at all can you hear me hello near to the speaker phone please Yeah, you can hear me now. Slightly better. Okay, so I have one question to ask. This is Silesh. Uh, so unlike peers, we have lot of aggregations in the overseas market, and there are a lot of opportunity in the MENA and Africa region. But why we are uh, you are not sounding very positive for the exports market? You are saying our supply will be balanced out for both domestic and exports. So what is restricting? as to cater more demand in the exports market when there is a good opportunity so we are expanding the capacity profitability is better in the overseas market then why we are not very bullish in the overseas market sir we are i don't know uh, what i said to make you feel that we are not bullish in the overseas market so let me correct myself we are we are bullish and uh, all i was trying to convey is that uh, from uh, period to period we have to plan uh, how much we should try to sell abroad and how much we should try to sell in india that's all i was trying to to say okay okay sir Thank you. The next question is from the line of Dipesh Sanchetti from Mayankar Finance. Please go ahead. Hi, am I audible? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the question was regarding uh, the plant shutdown which we took. Uh, as you had mentioned that it was a 15-day shutdown last quarter, and the rest of the days were for this quarter. Uh, and uh, the total cost was around 60, 62 crores. was it the uh, was it divided in quarter wise according to number of days or it was completely taken in qco no no it was mainly there was cut down in previous quarter quarter 3 and 15 days cut down in quarter 4 okay and the entire cost was taken in quarter 4 no actually 13 crores was taken in quarter 3 whatever bill in we have received in quarter 3 we have considered in quarter 3 only as balance material we came we received in the month of quarter 4 only that's why it is booked in quarter 4 okay okay so uh, what do we expect from this uh, i mean the shutdown and uh, maintenance uh, will uh, i mean how much uh, more capacity increase uh, would have been done with this plant shutdown uh this will increase the efficiency of the plant 
and see if the efficiency of the plant will improve. Now, slightly they will increase in capacity also. But not capacity, basically productivity. Okay. So directly the effect will not be on top line, but on the bottom line. Is that what? Uh, okay. Both ends. Both ends. Okay. And what are the capacity utilization in this quarter for the same plant, which uh, went for? Uh, 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 it will be around nine. We have lost how much? About fifty something days. Few four, you want to say? Yeah, few four. Ninety-three percent. Due to due to fifteen days shut down. Okay. Okay. Other. Oh, fine. Thank you. Hello. Dipesh, do you have any further questions? No, I think uh, I'm getting uh, some disturbance. I'll fall back in line. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, due to time constraints, that will be our last question for today. I would now like to hand the conference over to the management from Electro Steel Castings Limited for closing comments. Over to you, sir. So I want to thank everybody for uh, taking the time out to come and uh, talk to us about what we are doing, how we are doing, and uh, together how we see the future uh, evolving out. And uh, that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of Electro Steel Castings Limited, that concludes this conference. Thank you all for joining us. You may now disconnect your lines. Thank you.